Hi, we're here in Santa Monica, California, where Porsche has given us the keys to the all-new 2011 Porsche Boxster Spider. We can't wait to drive it, so and they've given it to us for two hours, so let's get after it. Let's drive this thing. Porsche has turned us loose with the all-new 2011 Boxster Spider for a couple of hours, so there's no time to lose. We want to do as much driving as possible. Driving that will really prove that the Spider delivers what the Porsche engineers designed it to deliver, an intense roadster experience. With a bow to classics like the Porsche 550 Spider, that means an elixir of horsepower and handling stirred for consumption in the open air. So even though the new Boxster Spider has a super sharp manually deployed fabric top, it was speedily rolled up and stowed in its cubby behind the seats. The roadster experience means being out in the elements, not shielded from them. It also means being seen in a vehicle that turns heads wherever it goes, even on Southern California roads where drivers are bored to see yet another exotic car. They won't be bored by the Boxster Spider, though. We guarantee that. Prominent among the design alterations are the twin fairings on the rear deck lid that extend all the way to the back of the car, giving it a silhouette reminiscent of the Mega Dollar Carrera GT. Roadsters are also purpose-built, so in their quest for lightness, Porsche engineers tossed out the binnacle over the instruments, the cup holders, and of course the power top mechanism. They even decided to get rid of the sound system and the air conditioning unit in their effort to lighten the car by what turned out to be 176 pounds. You'll see that our test vehicle is equipped with both AC and radio. In addition to hitting the delete button, Porsche engineers also substituted lighter materials where possible. So the doors are aluminum skinned, saving 33 pounds, and the carbon fiber bucket seats reduce weight by 26 pounds. The striking 10-spoke wheels are about 11 pounds lighter than the other 19-inch wheels in the Porsche Arsenal, which improves both overall and unsprung weight. Win-win. So what does removing the equivalent of your buddy's weight do to the performance of the Boxster Spider? Frankly, it will tempt you to do wicked, wicked things. Not only is the Spider significantly lighter than the already light Boxster S, but it also offers 10 additional horsepower. The 320 horsepower coursing through the standard six-speed manual gearbox is enough to persuade you to get on the gas and stay on it. And the sophisticated Boxster engine is torquier than you have any right to expect it to be. The zero to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of 4.6 seconds is impressive. But as we wound through the canyons north of Malibu, we were even more impressed by the Spider's uncanny balance, its ability to respond immediately to every flick of the wheel and input of the throttle or brake. This is a car that will make you feel like you're a better driver than you probably are. And who doesn't want that ego stroke? When one is talking about art like the Boxster Spider, it might be tacky to talk about price, but we couldn't help but think that the price tag of around $63,000 is a modern day bargain. We're hard pressed to think of a more satisfying open sports car experience offered anywhere. This is just plain cool. We try to find things to criticize about cars, but it's hard to find it with this one. Hard to believe that 176 pounds can make this much difference, but this is just plain terrific.